Welcome to the Smiles Are Wild channel brought to you by Pediatric Dental Associates and Orthodontics. My name is Amy Morgan. We will be bringing you fun and educational videos weekly to help you take better care of your child's oral health care needs at home and on the go. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to see all of our new videos. And remember, it doesn't really matter how you take care of your teeth as long as you take care of them from the beginning. Good morning, everyone. Hi, I'm Amy. I'm the marketing coordinator here for Pediatric Dental Associates and Orthodontics. And this morning, we are going to be going through how our new check-in process is happening with all of the current precautions we have to take for COVID-19. I do want to make a disclaimer here that the family that is going to be shown in this video is my family. So I will not be wearing um, gloves or anything like that. And for the purposes of the video, I'm not going to be wearing a mask but everyone that you've come in contact with otherwise in within our practice will be wearing a mask and gloves when appropriate. Okay, so to get started, um, one of the first things that you're going to, after you make your appointment, one of the first things you're gonna come in contact with for our office is you're going to receive an email to complete some paperwork online. So we need you to do that prior to your appointment. And this will be for anyone who has an appointment within our practice. So whether you're being seen for an orthodontic checkup or a cleaning, you're gonna receive an email that you need to log into your account and complete your paperwork. If you have any problem filling out the paperwork, you can reply to the email directly and let us know what your issues are and we'll try to troubleshoot that for you via email. Once you get your paperwork completed, then when it's time for your appointment, you're going to arrive in our parking lot. Our parking lot looks a little bit different now in that we have some signs that are numbering all of the parking spots. So I'm gonna have my video director here show us what our sign looks like from the car here. So approximately 30 minutes prior to your appointment, you're gonna receive a text message to your cell phone. That text message is for you to reply your spot number when you arrive. So you'll get the text and all you have to do, for instance, right now my family is parked in spot parking spot B3. So he's going to reply to the text message B3 and that will let us know that you've arrived for your appointment. Once we are ready to start triaging you for that appointment, we will come to your car. We're going to take temperatures of everyone in the car and we're also going to ask this series of questions. So I'm going to go ahead and take temperatures just so you can see what it's like. So we're going to, we will take the temperature of the parent, which I'm not going to do right now. I'm going to go around the car and take temperature of the kids and show you that it's a touchless thermometer. Um, so none of the um, items in the check-in process are actually touching you, okay? So we're gonna go around here. All right, so this. All right, you're good, 97.5. And 97.7, you're good to go. Okay, I'm gonna come back around here. And so then as the parent, we're gonna ask you a series of questions that are on a form. If you've done your online paperwork, you will have already filled out these questions, but we do have to update it for today's purposes. So we will be asking you those questions again and also making sure that you understand the risk of the COVID-19 um, exposure within our practice during our current times, okay? So once all that process is done and everybody in the car has been cleared, all the answers to the questions are no, and we don't have any kind of stipulations that would keep you from being seen in the office, then you're just going to hang out in your vehicle until it's time for your appointment. For today's purposes, um, we are not open yet here in our Bentonville location, so we're ready to go ahead and proceed with the appointment. So we're gonna start with that process. And um, what will happen is someone from our check-in crew will come to your car and get you for your appointment. And we're gonna do that right now. So we're ready for your appointment. Gentlemen, if you can go ahead and put your mask on and exit the vehicle and meet me at the front door. Hannah's gonna go ahead and take them back for that. So you guys will follow Miss Hannah. 
And as you can see, our waiting room is cl currently closed right now. And that is just because we're trying to protect you and your family, as well as our staff, from any risk of exposure. We do have a rain contingency plan in that if it's raining, we will bring you in one at a time to kind of hang out. You won't be able to sit in the chairs or play the games, but we do have a plan for that. So we're going to head to the back to get this process started. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to ask you to um, hang out with your mask on if it's not time for your appointment. So Lex, if you'll sit on the bench with your mask on. And then it's going to be JJ's turn for his appointment. So Miss Hannah is going to walk him through how to start that appointment. And we're going to first start by having him take off his mask, hand it to his parent, and then he's going to wash his hands with soap and water. For the sake of the video, we're not going to make you stand here and watch it for a full 20 seconds, but he should be washing his hands for 20 seconds. Okay, you can stop now. Dry your hands. I'm going to wash my hands. Yes, and then the assistant should always wash their hands prior to the appointment. And then one of the new things that we're having to do during the appointment as well is have you do a, a peroxide rinse, and that's just to try to clear out some of the bacteria out of your mouth prior to the appointment that protects you as the patient and us as the staff from any further risk of exposure. So JJ is going to do that really quickly once Miss Hannah gets her gloves on. <laughs> what? You're okay. All right, so he's going to rinse with this solution and depending on age, we'll walk them through it. If they're not at the right age, we'll talk to you about what we need to do for that. But he's just going to rinse and then he's going to spit it in the sink or if necessary we can also use the suction um, while they're laying on the bench um, for the purposes of the video we're not going to have him actually lay down but technically he would lay down have his normal appointment everything would go as planned the doctor will come over do the treatment planning do everything that normally happens within your appointment and then after that appointment is over you will be asked once again to wash your hands so wash your hands again just for the purpose of the video, we'll walk through it. You're gonna wash your hands again, and then we would proceed with the next patient and so forth. Once that appointment is over, we're gonna ask that everyone who does not already have their mask back on to put their mask back over their face, and then we will walk you up to check out, and we'll go up there in just a second while we're doing this, and you'll see that Ms. Hannah is again washing her hands. And just to remind you that in a dental office, we practice a lot of universal precautions on a daily basis outside of the COVID-19 pandemic. So a lot of those practices are still in place. The items that we're going over today as far as the patient washing their hands and the um, antimicrobial rinse for their mouth, the mask, all of that are the new procedures that we're doing for the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, so now that he has clean hands, he can put his mask back on. <clears throat> All right, and then we will just walk up to check out. We'll just walk through there and we'll go back outside and I'll finish up here in just a second. So the gentlemen will follow me. And then you will proceed to the checkout counter. We'll go through making your next appointments, getting all of the treatment proposals done if you have any of that and then we, you will exit the building just as normal. So check out, it's pretty similar to what it's always been. Um, we do have hand sanitizer at every checkout. We also have tissues available if you need those. Um, and all of our signature pads and everything are electronic, so everything can be wiped down after every patient. Um, okay, so you gentlemen are done, you two can go. And just to finish up, I just wanna make sure if you have any questions, you know how to contact me. My email is amy at smilesorwild.com. You can also send us a message here directly on Facebook. You can also follow us on Instagram by searching Smiles or Wild. We hope this video has been informative and has helped you understand what we're trying to do to keep you and your family safe as well as our staff. And we appreciate you watching. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and go visit us on smilesorwild.com.